there is greater value and cost involved in business travel than just the price of tickets, accommodation and transport. If you have a travel policy that covers all your travellers equally, regardless of value, it is ineffective and dangerous as you aren't managing risk based on asset value. Not all travellers are valued the same. Not all business travel is the same value to the business. If you don't know the value ranking of your travellers, your business's investments are exposed to greater unnecessary risks. A junior employee on a salary of $50,000 per year is not worth the same to your business as a senior partner on $200,000 per year. Don't value them the same when it comes to travel. Don't compare travel savings at the same rate. You don't have the same insurance for a lawnmower as you would have for a race car. Don't do the same thing with travel. The cost of a trip must be considered against the value of the trip before savings or reductions can be celebrated. Saving a few dollars on a trip that results in inconvenience to a junior employee might be worth it. Saving a few dollars on a trip that results in significant inconvenience and lost productivity to a senior executive or CEO may actually cost your business hundreds or even thousands of dollars in real value. Travel delays, alterations, restrictions and bans cost the company differently. A travel ban on laptops will only cost the business a few hundred dollars in lost productivity for a junior employee with a low salary. A travel ban on laptops could cost a business thousands of dollars in lost productivity for a senior executive on a long international flight, not to mention potential lost opportunity costs too. Would your business celebrate saving $100 on a construction of a building that yields $100 million in profit that could have been $2 million profit if you hadn't sacrificed something as part of your $100 saving? Probably not. This is what travel managers, travel companies, and travel budgets are doing all the time. If you don't know the value of your travelers and their travel in terms of what it is worth to the business, then you are the risk. Forget talking about travel safety and travel risk management. You can't even manage basic risks or protect assets of varying value. 